What's up guys, it's Ricky and on this particular episode we're talking about a story that I saw from Solomon yesterday about Bushiri's channel closing down. So I was like, wow, well, that's something? Which channel is that? I didn't even know he had another channel. Uh, but I thought that was a very interesting uh, thought around it, but I wanted us to talk about it right here on this channel. It's just reality check. Wonderful good morning. Hope you guys are having a good one. And may God bless you and have a wonderful morning today. Now, other episodes that are done today, they'll be down in the pinned comments. So check them out and I will see you over there when you're done watching this one. But first, before you go over there and check out the other episodes that we have done, if it's your first time here, subscribe if you like this kind of commentary. And on this one, we're going to be talking about this channel being shut down. So I went online and I found uh, this article by Malawi 24 and on Malawi 24 they're kind of reporting around this particular channel called Rainbow TV some like that very interesting thought that came to my mind <laughs> very interesting thought y'all tell me what your thoughts are on this one um, and the thought was you know when God when God put up the rainbow in Genesis, it was to show a sign, as a, as a sign that he wouldn't judge the world in that way, uh, way of what. So it was a way of, of assuring humanity that his judgment is set, or it's to stop a certain, level, a certain judgment, or it was a judgment, and then you see it stopped. No? Let's go together. And when, when God had a rainbow, né? so that's the rainbow thought that came to my mind. I was like, mm, interesting. The rainbow shows up as a sign that God won't judge the world in that thing. It's God's, I, I think they call it the Noahic covenant. Mm -hmm. It's under the Noahic covenant. And so that got me thinking also along the side of T.B. Joshua. When T.B. Joshua was here, it's kind of like something along the lines of the Noahic covenant happened around T.B. Joshua. Because it's like God shut him down so his platforms were, were, were plucked off. His platforms were removed and... T.B. Joshua himself then dies a few months after. While they are still claiming they're going to be working to get their platform back. The reason why this thought came to my mind so vividly, particularly about this subject, was that um, it was something that Solomon actually said in his video. He was talking about uh, how he had made an appeal. Okay, how we should have made an appeal. You can go check Solomon's video. So he had made an appeal to the court to try and change that decision to revoke his license of functioning as a television channel. I think it's a channel and something. I don't know. You can see a couple of the pictures of that particular platform and they do kind of favor Bushiri and stuff like that. They kind of... Uh, uh, pull out a, a lot of things about Bushir, a couple of things about Bushir, the whole Gasham thing and whatnot, the whole Nan ah, We're not a pl platform for, for promotion of Mandems. But I found it fascinating for me that when a person seems to be going towards a certain lay area of judgment, they lose something. It's kind of like something comes, they, they, something gets taken. And then you see the final. This kind of makes me feel like Bushiri is going to be extradited. Even if it's not now. Even if it's not now, he's probably going to be extradited. And, um, and that thought came from what Solomon said when he said... Um, he had lost the judgment about that when he had gone to court to try and stop losing the license. Okay, so I'm saying that because I, I heard it. I heard it on Solomon's platform. I didn't really look out around for that story. It kind of just gave me this thought uh, when he said that to say he had tried to kind of turn this back and it didn't work. 
it kind of just continued on and he ended up losing the entire Quachias. But an interesting thought is that he loses that case, which means his, his license is therefore revoked. So he can't operate his channel. And so the channel is going to be removed. And so while the channel is going to be removed, he himself going to and fro with the court system about his extradition, which he was trying to stop, and he seems to be failing. Even though they are taking time, which is the process of the law, no problem, go through with the entire thing, let us see who he blames then. You see, it's, I think it's best we do that. <laughs> we best see who do you blame then. Because if it was done here and he was restricted, uh, from trying to stop the 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 testimonies of the of the wit of the people that are actually involved in those cases, if he was to be, if that was done here, he would have said so no for so no He would have said so no no. But now he can't claim that he's in his country. He went to his country, and the Malawi government said no. We are hands off on this one. The the cost system can handle it, and. At first, at, at a couple of months ago, you would have felt like Bushiri was having his way because he just kept you kept having this to and fro. But you know what? Let's allow the system to take over. But in this one, the one thing that came to my mind was when Tim Joshua was here, lost his platform, and he himself out. Bushir is going through the court system right now, and. He loses his platform now. He's losing his platform. You know? Mm. Rainbow TV with the whole Genesis Noe Covenant thing. <laughs> I thought that was so telling. <laughs> what is the first thing that comes to your guys' mind? I find it very... I find it almost like poetry. It's almost like... Um, it's, it's almost like it's saying something for him to have a channel called Rainbow, losing that channel, while there is that Noahic thing that you see in the Old Testament. You know? <laughs> my, my lane of theology, I guys remember, my lane of theology is kind of messianic. And so when we see things, sometimes we tend to think, does this have a bigger meaning? Is there something else behind this? I thought that was worth sharing. I need to share that thought. It's just my opinion and my my thought process when I'm when I see things like this. And when I heard Solomon reporting on it, I was like, hmm. It sparks my it sparks my mind that a, his rainbow channel would be taken down and all that while he's going through this system, which he seems to be losing the decisions that are being taken, and then he tries to get it revoked, it doesn't happen. And they say, no, that sticks. You have not been paying your dues over there. And so your license has been revoked, cancelled. Mandems is done with. The rainbow is there as a sign. <laughs> he that is an ear, let him hear. 